Hey guys, uh, this is Ty from House of Kicks. Let me pause this music real quick, man. Let me do that real quick. So, um, basically, uh, let me get to my screen. And uh, I kind of wanted to uh, quickly uh, tell you a little bit about um, the Nike PG-1 uh, debate or ferocity. That's the name of the shoe. And uh, before you, you go out there and buy it, I, I want to tell you a couple of things. First, I want to start off with uh, uh, a little bit of the background of the shoe. You know, like Paul George is probably one of my favorite players. 6'10", small forwards. He can pass the ball. He can drive. He can dunk. He can shoot. He has pretty much everything, man. Like a two-way player, offense, defense. He got everything. So Nike went ahead and signed him and then made his first shoe. I love the shoes. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love everything about the shoe. Uh, the first colorway that I dropped is the, the PG, um, they call it the bait because he loves fishing. And the shoes come with uh, the uh, Indiana Pacers, uh, I think it's a away um, jersey, uniform colorway, the blue, the navy, and then gold, all right? If you see on the panels here, it's all blue with uh, gold and a speckled uh, midsole. So I went ahead and I wanted to pick up the shoe this morning. I didn't do it. But before I get into that, I want to show you a couple of things about the shoe real quick. They have this nice uh, strap near the midfoot. It's supported by fly wire cables and you prov like you provide some kind of adaptive support. So if you if you put it on and shoes to like lose, you can tighten up the, um, the shoe by, by extending on the, the fly wire on the strap. All right. It has fly wires here. And then he has this little um, cord to, to give you a better support. Now, the shoe features, I think, a combination of new buck and hyperfuse and engineer mesh. The mesh is probably on the tongue and its extension right here. And you have the hyperfuse over here, mesh here. And that's all for ventilation purposes, right? And also, I want to mention uh, the tongue here. The, this is on the, the PG logo. This is a P and this is a G, but they made it into a, to look like a, some kind of lure or fishing bait. And, and that's because he loves fishing, so I guess they did that. And then Nike is really good at making stuff and kind of creating uh, nice stories when they're making a shoe. Now, he also, one, one other thing that I want to say about the shoe is it has a nice, nice, nice uh, construction here. It looks like they were ratchet. You, know, you keep your feet snug, and, and it's like it's really comfortable. I can put the shoes on. Oh, I, don't, I didn't want to say that yet. That's the reason why I actually did this video construction here so when you put your foot in there it's kind of snug it keeps your foot locked in and you're not going to have any kind of distraction when you're running on the court and the last thing i want to talk about you know as far as the shoe itself is the the multi um directional traction system they made it look like fish scale because it loves fishing but it's a nice traction system i don't know if it's going to work for you but i, I figured they did it because paul jerk can explode to the basket he can pop and shot and, and take, the, take a shot and he can kind of, he has everything pretty much like I said. So they made the shoe based on the way he plays his game, right? Now, I want to tell you why I didn't, I didn't get the shoe because if you see my video when he started, you see me in the Foot Locker and I kind of felt funny even taking shots in the Foot Locker. I tried to put on the shoe this morning and I couldn't put them on. It's just too narrow. Like, it's just way too narrow. My foot is about like five five inches wide so i try to put those things on man i could not do it it was just impossible so that's the reason why i made this video so if you want to go out there and buy the shoe make sure you you, you your foot is like narrow enough because you can't i couldn't even put the shoes on and the reason why michael jordan if you remember this the, the jordan six they have like them two holes on the tongue on the back that's like a a, a slip on um pull tab and that's the reason why he wanted to be able to put the shoes on quick he felt like it was just too hard. So that's the reason why the, the, the Jordan 6 has two holes on the tongue. So for me, if I'm going to play basketball, I want to be able to just throw my shoes on real quick. And I felt like with the Paul George, as much as I love the shoes, I couldn't put them on. So therefore, I can't do an on-court demo for you because I can't even put the shoes on my feet. And if I can put them on, that means if I put them on, they're going to be too tight. That's the same thing I have with the, the Kobe ADs. I couldn't put them on. I put them on, but when, when I was doing the videos, I was struggling. So the cushioning on this is probably excellent because he has actually a sock liner that's thick enough to, to keep to keep your foot like well, well cushioned and they also have like zoom unit on the forefoot shoe up well that's what nike said so you, ne you never know so like i say man um i was kind of disappointed today man I, I really 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 wanted to 
to get these shoes, but unfortunately, I couldn't get them. I came home mad, you know, I went to the store, you know, I was like, yeah, let me, you know, let me try them on, I put them on my feet. I couldn't even put them on, man, like, literally, I couldn't put them on. So, I don't know, maybe I'll go back in there and try to see if I can squeeze my foot in there, because I wanted to test them on the court tomorrow. You know, I'm an average Joe, so I feel like, it's a cheap shoe, it's like $110, so I wanted to do that for you. But unfortunately, it's not possible, all right? So, this is all I had to say today. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. This is Ty from MasterKicks.com.